Well, hello guys, welcome to episode one of our second season at RFC Liège. I am the Custard Prophet, and yeah, it was a bit of a surprise, I think eventually, that we got promoted last season. If you haven't seen the promotion video, the um, episodes 10 of season one, make sure you go back and see that because it was the most ludicrous game you will ever likely to see. It was nip and tuck all the way. We were not getting promoted and we were getting promoted uh, all the way through the two games that we had to play and um, uh, there was all sorts of stuff going on. Uh, so yeah, that was an awful lot of uh, um, adrenaline used up, um, but we're here now in the Belgian Pro League B, uh, which is a sort of slightly strange division. I mean, the way Belgian football is set up is completely bizarre in, in my mind. Um, all sorts of weird stuff going on. Just eight teams in this league. We are now professional, which has happened. We ha are also getting our stadium expanded, which has happened, which is, well, which will be um, completed, I think early December time uh, we're getting a an extra thousand let's have a look I think it's an extra thousand um, seat uh, extra thousand capacity 500 seats 500 standing and I think this just relates to the league rules so we have to do this if we want to um, stay there so that that will happen can't afford it but you know we'll ignore that won't we for now yeah, so the, this, this league is kind of a slightly weird system. Eight teams in the league. Top team gets promoted, bottom team gets relegated, and then this second team is the team that uh, goes into a playoff against the second bottom team in the, in the top, top league. Uh, so uh, relegation, promotion, playoff, uh, to see who gets that final place in, uh, in the uh, Belgian Pro League bit, uh, A, or the... the Juniper League or Juniper League, I can't remember which one it is. So it sounds like some sort of run, rum or something like that. Uh, anyway, so we we're here and we are not expected to do well. This is this is going to be hard, I think. Um, season preview, as you can see, we are seventh out of eighth in terms of the um, likely teams to get promoted. The reason we are not bottom is because Club Bruges NXT, basically their young young team, uh, they can't get promoted. So we are sitting here <laughs> um, in a sort of slightly artificial seventh place. What, what that does mean is if Club Bruges finish second and we finish third, we still go into that playoff position. Uh, so we're 200 to one next to us is RWDM who are 33 to 1 and you can see that the top four there are fairly evenly matched. Kotrick came down and they were they look almost odds on to go up don't they? They are uh, they got they got relegated from the top division. So it's gonna be hard to to get anywhere in this and it might take us a few years to get <laughs> get through we may get relegated straight away. I don't know. The uh, what we're expected to do the club vision is avoid relegation so that's what we're going to try and do uh, but it's going to be hard we are currently have untouchable job security which is kind of nice so we've also done some transfers let's have a look through there we, we weren't able to do a whole lot because well basically we just didn't have the, the budget to do that uh, we needed to replace our centre back because Kadudj, the low knee, went back and we couldn't extend his loan. So we bought in this lad, Ryan Bidunga, got him in early on. I think he looks a decent player. He's a French Frenchman from uh, signed in from Nancy. Uh, I, li I like him uh, an awful lot because he is just a very well-rounded defender. Um, he's got double figures where you want him to have double figures but everywhere else is is pretty good he's not particularly slow he's uh he's not particularly small uh his jumping reach maybe could be worked on a little bit uh but he can mark he can tackle um and he's all also isn't the world's worst passer of the ball so i think he's a decent player and um he's also our highest value player as well worth uh, three hundred thousand pounds we made another couple of signings. This lad, uh, Manito Garcia Cavea, who who is Belgian also, despite his very Spanish or uh, Iberian-sounding name, um, he 
is someone to provide a little bit of cover but he's mainly there because of the potential that he possesses so as you can see he could be a little bit faster he's got a good pace but the acceleration is not great so that that's maybe something to work on his crossing could be better as well and that's another thing to work on but he can dribble he's got a decent finish on him and he's got a decent first touch so he can play up top or on the wings either side D Davy over is his back he's basically doing what he did last season he, he's going to be back up for the the left side he's got great potential ability and that is what we brought him in for that potential so we've got a fairly young team on the other side out Lucien Mariotti is one of our youngsters who came through our youth system um, in the last uh, season uh, he's, he's one who looks like the may he might have something to him as you can see some of his uh, technicals are are improving and he's he, I mean he's got a decent free kick which is which is kind of nice I'd like to see him a little being a little bit faster he's not quite up there you know for as, as a winger in terms of his stats yet but he's only 17 who was attributes I should say we are trying desperately to develop some of the youngsters probably the most exciting of them is uh, this lad Romain Bodin and you can see he is physically quite exceptional for this level we 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 do need to you know maybe get his acceleration up a bit easy we're going to be trying to get him to be playing in this position because that's where we we don't we're currently not playing this amc role maybe a deep line playmaker something like that we'll we'll try and make him more comfortable with that but we are working on a few individual um bits and pieces to to maybe improve it and he is really taking on board this we're um, as you can see, his heading is going up massively, his strength is improving, his acceleration, his anticipation, all going in the right direction. So he looks uh, he looks good, and he's got determination of 13, hopefully, and, and a fairly professional personality. So hopefully all that together means that he is going to be someone that we can develop effectively. Uh, we'll give him a few games as well. So in terms of the schedule, we've had a pre-season. It didn't go particularly well. Uh, we won three, lost four. This first four were against top division teams, so it's not the end of the world. What worries me a little bit is the number of goals we conceded. Uh, we did score in each one of those games, but we, we, we gave away a lot of chances. So we'll see whether this holds up when we play Dines today. When we were playing the poorer sides, we didn't have too many issues. We beat Addo 20 and Heist, who we played last season, who are now being relegated, beat them 3 2. Had a good match here against Udinese, it was going to be hard, and then finished off the friendlies with a nice 6 0 victory over Bastogne. Our first game we have played of the season was the Belgian Cup fifth round um, tie against uh, Verlein, who are in the amateur leagues, um, and we won that comfortably. Mahou, Lalamon with a couple, and Rodez. Um, Lalamon getting goals was important, but he did miss a penalty in this match, so he probably should have got a hat-trick. He probably should have got a lot more than a hat-trick. So um, it, was, it was a win, but you know, conceding two goals against a, a team of this quality not particularly happy with and given the amount of chances we had i'm not particularly happy with the amount of uh, our, our chance conversion either so you know i said i said to them i was happy but i'm not really that happy so yeah today against dines it's going to be an interesting one because if we can get something out of this then all of a sudden things look okay if we lose badly then we have got a lot of thinking to do let's see how this plays out. So team that we are going to go with as I've already sorted this out, Lalamont and Cose up top, uh, Lavambo um, on the left, Mahou on the right, Rodez and Gird in the middle and that is because unfortunately in pre-season Asania has got himself injured and he's going to be out for, all, for up to five weeks which isn't great. At the back it all looks very similar, Destilio on the left, Hias on the right, and Castagna is partnering. Bedunga is the only player who is coming into this uh, eleven from the you know all the rest of these players were here last season. And Dabati and goal uh, on the bench. We are going to be featuring uh, Danny Davy Overies and uh, Martin Suarez. So the other two players who came in, uh, they are not coming straight into the uh, uh, into the in, into the team and. Uh, the uh, 
the youngster Bowden is is he's not going to quite be playing just yet. We're going to get to grips with this league and then we'll start giving him some games. So it's going to be good, first of all. He is in a position that we do need bodies, so I am undoubtedly think he will be getting games. Uh, but uh, we're going to have to work hard, I think, just to make sure that um, we're playing him at the right times and we're not overloading him. That's apparently something you don't want to do. Uh, so let's see what happens right then I don't quite know what's gonna go on here so we'll see go out there and impress me faith will they're motivated from this let's see what happens I don't really know what to expect our debut in the Pro League B we are excited we're ready for the challenge and we've worked hard for it Asania missing is a bit of a blow uh, yeah yeah here's a big loss and, and I'd rather him be available I think let's be honest about it right the teams look team looks okay um, let's see what we can get out of this Dines team I think it's gonna be hard we're gonna demand more right from the off we'll start from balanced and we have had the first shot, so that's a positive. And Dostilio, ball in to Lavambo. Uh, Dostilio, he's got it back again. Is he going to put the ball in? It looks like he's trying to beat his man. Oh, it's over the top from Mahu. Decent start from us. Let's just make sure we don't go behind. Right then. Well, that's not great. Kose is out. Ha! Huh. Who do you bring on for Cose? They're wanting to bring me to bring on Martin Suarez. We've got Mouchon. We've got a good op set of options actually. We've got four people we could bring on. So that's not a problem. Let's have a think about this. Martin Suarez has got 15 finishing. Covellier is the, the new the youngster. He can run with the ball. Mouchon. He plays well out out wide. Ronvo. I don't know. It's all much of a muchness, isn't it? He's playing on the right side, so maybe not Ronvu. Let's go. Let's go with Covellier. We'll see how he does. It's new youngster or not a new youngster new signing give him give him an opportunity an opportunity so uh obviously mongo is in the b team at the minute baby <laughs> oh dear oh it's over the top nice interplay from dines but they didn't manage to bulge the net with that one yeah we will stop him crossing the ball that sounds sensible to me we're yet to create much to be perfectly honest but looks like they're coming into this now at a fairly slow start and we're not looking particularly awesome going forward can we win the ball off him lecomte comes forward oh he's missed the challenge Lipini away over the top. Let's go on positive. See if we can create a couple more chances. Good has a shot. Detroit. Oh, no, they got the ball again. Can we win the ball off? And we're struggling just to just to do the simple things right. Um, I.e., get the ball off them. Oh, come on, come on, ball in. It's over the top again. Um, that was a lovely ball in actually. Lipini's causing me a bit of a little bit of worries over there, but we've got the ball out. Can can we get hold of that? No. Neto. Do I why do I know that name? Oh that's brilliantly done. Baby. Come on. Oh it's in. De, de Belder, Dylan De Belder, and Dines look look much better now. Now they've kind of worked their way into this game. We've started not great, 
and we uh, we will need to say something there. Uh, point finger, show me something else in the second half. Not happy with the defensive work. Not not happy much really. Um, apart from the the very start of that it was pretty good. I might I think I need to look at. I mean, Kose going off wasn't great. I wonder whether we could play. Him in a, in a position that he's more happy with. We'll see what that does. We're having a, a couple more opportunities early on. What we we'll, might also do is just let us uh, maybe go shoot on site, see if we can um, just create maybe a one or two more opportunities. Oop. Right, come on, come on, boys. So we're 1 0 down. I mean, what we've seen mainly in terms of chances, it's all been for them. We've not created the best of chances. Here we are, 74 minutes in. Let's see what we've got. Uh, what's the, what's, what can we bring on? Lovambo's looking a little knackered. He's not been particularly great. So let's... Let's bring on Mouchon. And I'm going to also shout, fire them up. Right, and we've got the ball. It's Garcia Covello. And he's shot from bloody miles out. And that is awful. Come on, man. What better than that? It's a better second half, I have to say. Can we... I think a draw would be a fair result. And Garcia Covello, he... <sighs> Gets a cross in there, but it's not great. And Bidunga, centre-back, finds good. Rodes. He, he plays it out wide to Haas. And it's Lamond. It's the first goal in the league. It's one all. That is important for us. Well done, Lamond. And he, he makes the difference when he needs to. Let's have a look at that again, because that is important. Rodes. Outside the Hias, beautiful straight ball, and Lalamon beats the keeper. All ends up, and we are one all there with uh, with Dines. And I'm going to make one last change. Quite sure what we're going to do. Martin Suarez, Ronval. So we'll do that and bring Martin Suarez in the centre. That's it. No, oh, bloody hell. Come on, boys, let's take this a much, much better second half. And, well, if you'd said, uh, I mean, we, if you'd said we would get a point out of that first game, I would have taken that. Uh, second half, we were much, much better. Um, maybe we do need to be a bit, little bit more attacking in the way that we are going about things. Um, this formation seemed to work a little bit better. And that's what we started with last season, wasn't it? And maybe we need to go back to that with Lallemand up top. We created a bunch of chances, XG at one. Their XG about half of ours. So all in all, I'm happy with what happened there. I think uh, hopefully Cozy is not out for too long. We will see that in a second. We were unlucky tonight. And that's demotivated Lovambo, unfortunately. But... I don't care too much because I think performance wise we have given uh, a good opening performance against one of the sides that we are going to need to take points off. Yeah, yeah, that was disappointing. Well, I didn't really have many other players to uh, take off, but yeah, he was, he wasn't great. Uh, but we are fifth, that's probably as high as we're going to get. Union with a an early smashing there, and we'll see what that what Kose. So Kose outs for five weeks. That's a bit of a bugger, and Carvelio's out for a couple of days. So that's well, we, we'll just have to deal with it. Sorry, we're gonna so into the schedule here. We are going to be playing. I think what we might do is come back for this game here against Vesteloo because we kind of know where we are. They are one of the teams who are pretty good. Yeah, I think that makes sense. We'll have f f four games in the league. We'll see where we are just about in the league, how things are going on. Uh, and then also have the details from the cup game as well uh, to bring you. 
but I think that makes a sensible place to come back. Okay guys, if you did enjoy that, please hit that like button, please subscribe if you are new, and I will see you next time as we try and continue our reasonable start, start here in the, uh, the Pro League B in Belgium. Um, I mean, what we are trying to do is, is, I think in this first season, is just kind of stay in the league and, and then if we can, try and build on, build on it from there. But it's going to be hard. It's going to be really hard. Join us on the journey, though. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.